Welcome to Housekeeping Tips with Shah. Blessings to you all. In today's video, I will be focusing uh, today on our and how we maintain our kitchen. Um, as you know, the last time I did a deep clean regarding the fridge. Well, I don't have to do that now. So what we do, as I said, this is our water purifier. I tend to get a, a cup. I have a thing here. See, I get the top water and I pour it in so that way I don't have to take this out. So I just pour it in and that way it stays in there. The only time I would take it out is if I'm going to refill it. I'm going to change the <clears throat> I'm gonna change the filter. Okay, so we have our wet, our wet rag, okay? So what I do, as I said, in case of anything spill, I just wipe it, right? I'm not gonna do any big cleaning because we already did that big deep cleaning. So any little thing, any little spilling, uh, the catsup bottle, like this one, you're gonna wipe it off. See, there are things uh, that like, like the children move and if you come in here as the adult, you fix them back, right? So that way you don't have to be thinking about this everlasting work, right? Any little thing, I mean, they use a syrup in their little spot, I'll just wipe it out. Right? You don't have to take out everything because, as I said, we already did the deep cleaning. But you're maintaining it by any little spots, any little thing. Um, the tray, yes, there's some onions trash in here. So we're just going to take these out. And, and, and you can do these things like if you're cooking, um, maybe after you drink your tea or whatever you're doing in the kitchen. This is nothing major. You just rinse it out. We just rinse the, uh, the egg, um, sorry, the onion trash out and you wipe it out. If you have like foil, at least now will be the time you just change your foil, putting a new foil, okay? So when you do your thing like this, then you don't have to be worrying about that major cleaning up, okay? Remember this, housework is like this. You have to be on top at all times. You have to be ahead at all times. If you allow it to get ahead of you, then you're going to be in trouble, okay? And you're not going to want to do housework and you're going to say, oh, it's too much. But I don't find it that way. I find housework, to me, it's easy. As long as you, as long as you do what you have to do, right? You see little things you clean up, so I don't have to be concerning about take out everything and uh, at the end of the month or so when you go shopping and if you want to do another deep clean, then you can do it because that time it's empty, right? But even if I don't want to do deep clean, I don't have to because, you know, I clean up anything I see. Okay, make sure you wipe your fridge handle off at all times because that's where you hold, right? Remember the little ones going there? When you go in there as an adult, just fix them back, right? Our, our stove, we cook at all times, we clean off. Clean off our stove. We wash off our kettle, right? When things boil over, you don't wait until tomorrow. Just do it once you take the hot pot off. For me, while the pot is on, I'm, I'm wiping like this. I'm doing this. But some people don't like that. So once you take the pot off, put it in the sink, then you clean it. Don't leave it. Your oven, once you bake or you grill, whatever you do, you clean out your stove. Right? Same thing with your microwave. But every time you hot up any meal, and if you use this to cover it, remember, you rinse it off. 
wash it off, don't rinse it, wash it off with water and if you have some bleach, because this is plastic, so you've got to be careful. And you make sure at all times, right, you have the rag. The rag is right there. Your oven, the same thing. You make coffee, you wash this out. So that way we have everything together, right? We don't have to be thinking of this major cleaning of the kitchen. Um, you have your rag in your hand. You just take this down. Yeah, because your fridge top is not crowded. And for me, I'll just stand right there and I'll just wipe it off. Any dust. Wipe it off. See? I move these. And I wipe it off. And I put this back. Right? So this is here. Just like your oven, you can do this. Lift this up and you wipe under it. See? So you don't have to be saying, oh, I need deep cleaning because there are things that you did not move. Okay, simple, you can take this down and you can pull this away and you wipe it. See, you pull it all over the place and you wipe it, right? You don't have to wait until you're doing that big cleaning. The pot is on the fire, it's cooking and I'm doing this. This morning I came in, I cleaned these while the waffle, I was making waffle this morning, they were in the oven. I was just using my damp cloth to shine these off and things like that. So, I mean, as I said, you can maintain your place, keep your place clean, and you don't have to be believing that you're gonna go crazy. You have to do everything all at once. You're covered, okay? You put your dishes, once you take them out of the dish drainer, you organize them right away. Right, you use your seasoning, you organize it right away. You put them in your tea cups, right? So you don't have any everlasting work to do. If you have a table which is glass, you can use this wet rug here and you wipe it off, then you use a dry rug and you shine it off. Same thing with your refrigerator. If you have glass shelves, uh, maybe the top shelves where you have the milk and all of those things. Because sometimes when you pour the milk, the milk drains. So you just put it in the fridge. Okay, you just take it up and you just wipe, right? Shine it off. Because normally, for me, when I use a paper towel, it leaves residue. So I don't care to use a paper towel. I use a rag, a dry rag, okay? My dish drain is always empty at time. I just use it to put dishes into wash, drain, and sometimes I don't even wait until it drains. I take them up, dry them, put them away. That way, especially in the, in the evenings, after dinner, you're gonna clean up uh, your garbage bin. If the garbage uh, uh, doesn't have a top, you need to throw it out. If it has a top, you make sure it closed properly, because let me tell you this, rodents like these kind of things. They like a lot of crumbs, uh, dirty dishes. They like these things, okay? So for me, when I finish with my kitchen, I love to wash it in the evenings. Clean up, then you just use the mop, and you wipe it, and you leave a clean kitchen. Of course they will come in, the rodents and all of that, they will come in, but there's nothing to keep them, so they will just pass through. But if they can find a little food, they can go in the sink and see little, little things, then trust me, they, they will keep coming. As a matter of fact, they will stay, okay? There's another part here. I notice a lot of people don't really pay any attention to it a lot of times. In, inside here, this, we normally take this out. I don't know if you pay a lot of attention. And you clean inside here gonna clean down in here. You don't need nothing much to keep these uh, clean, right? Just make sure at all times when you finish, see? Clean it out. Clean here. This spot here, clean it out. And you put it back here, okay? I always use my rag over here. I use my rag to buff. I don't have anything special that I use to get these things shine. 
I just wash them and then I use the dry rag. I put this here because I don't like anything to spill. And if anything spill, at least it spills on this and I can wash this off. Just like how I put things around my stove, I can wipe them off because I don't like to see things spill on the wall, right? So I put those on the wall and then I'll wipe them off if they need to wipe off, especially when you're fried, okay? So this way we can maintain our entire place like this. Just keep doing things that, you know, as I said, adults, you move this, just put it back. Oh, they pour in some juice or something and it spill. Just get the rag, it's right here. Wipe it off, okay? In the refrigerator, uh, the onion thing, as I change it a while, as I show you, you wash that out. Um, some people, as I said, they put the foil at the bottom to line it so you can change it. Your microwave, use it, wash it off and put it in. That way you can sit, you can relax, and you don't have to be worrying, as I said, about housework. You can do other things, right? You just do things because there's things to do, okay? If you like this video and uh, it's of interest or I should say you learn something from it, like, yeah, like it, share it, and also subscribe it. And I thank you for watching. Happy cleaning.